Today I'm going to be showing you my $2,000 aquarium and we're going to be setting it up to make it look beautiful again. This is my 90 gallon discus tank aquarium. There's tons of plants overgrown so we need to fix that and a lot of the fish aren't looking too happy and the light's not able to get down to the bottom and we want to make sure that the cardinals and the quarries also feel comfortable in the tank and have a place to hide. And what's happening in this tank is a lot of the discus are starting to breed, which is great news. However, they're creating a lot of territories in the tank that are just making it hard for the other discus to swim around. So what we're going to be doing is trying to eliminate these territories by removing and cutting down some of the plants so that this doesn't become one area, that doesn't become another, and like so on because that way the fish just it's mostly open swimming area and then they'll have to spread out the aggression a lot more peacefully but you can see the discus they look quite nice however because the light's not really hitting them directly because all the plants at the top it's hard to see how nice they look also we need to scrape a lot of this algae on the front glass because we don't want that there and it just makes the tank look really messy even though it's not harmful to any of the fish and then I'll also feed the tank to show you guys what they look like when they're eating. But first, we gotta get our hands in there, and they're not gonna like that at all. So, let's get to it. So we got our handy tools. I'm gonna use scissors to cut a lot of the plants and replant them with these tweezers, and hopefully the quarries don't pull them out. And because I'm short, I got a step ladder. <laughs> also need my towel, because I spill lots of water. Every time I, what I'm gonna do is cut these plants probably here, to where they have some leaves and all their roots still and then cut them into threes and replant them down here because look down here there's no foliage or any bushes and then here cut this like in half and then put that plant in the back there to fill that in and then maybe over here in the front right and then later i might add some plants from over here these guys once these grow a bit more i'll probably take some clippings from here and put them in this tank i just clipped a bunch of them and you can see like they start getting really leggy and just not good looking because I'm not clipping them enough. And then up here is the clippings. Look how long they are. So I'll probably cut in half and then maybe a bit more. Definitely want to keep it variable so it looks nice. But now you can see how much light is coming to the bottom of the tank, whereas before it was just really bad. But now in here, you can see all the roots and stuff. And then I'll just plant the new ones in between these to fill it in. And then hopefully I'll stay more on top of this cutting so that they look better. And now the cardinals are swimming up here as well. All right, I got all the plants in and cut and trimmed. Take a look, it looks really rough at the moment because all the plants are gonna reorient themselves. Like this one's folded backwards. And then like down here, you can see like different leaf sizes because they tend to get bigger leaves the higher they grow, but it's just gonna grow in and eventually all the leaves and stuff will face the right direction. But now it's so much fuller and if I can stay on it, I'm gonna clip them to about this height all the time and then it should really look a lot more natural and better if I keep clipping them at around this height. Now it's time to do this plant and then I gotta scrape the algae. I need to get algae eaters for this tank but that's another day and I think I'm gonna use some of the baby plecos I have once they're big enough. This tank needs a much better algae eater out of any of the tanks but the fish in there are a bit predatory, so it has to be bigger. All right, let me go ahead and start clipping this one and start seeing what the tank looks like. All right, big progress has been made on the tank. If you can see behind me, the tank looks so much different. The light in the tank looks so much better. I'm gonna let the tank clear up before we go ahead and feed them. They're still a little bit skittish, as you can see, a lot of them hiding in the back over there and over here. I mean, that one's all darkened up, you can barely see it. And I cut these plants and I think they look so much better. These, like I said, will fix themselves. But let's go ahead and do a water change. Then we'll go ahead and feed them and I'll explain the tank a little bit to you about what I'm keeping in there. When I say a water change, all I have to do is click here, zone four, push it a bunch, and then we'll probably do like 60 minutes, which isn't actually a lot of water. It's probably like less than a gallon per minute and on a 90 gallon tank that's not gonna be a whole lot, but just a little small water change to help clear it up a bit. The tank has finally cleared up, it looks stunning, and it's time to finally feed the fish, so let's do it. Look at this tank. It just looks 10 times better, the fish are looking amazing, and if you don't know, like all the fish are coming out, they're more settled in now, the tetras are schooling up nicely, the water flow just looks better, you can see all the fish so much, much, much better now. It's just awesome, and you can look all the way through the rocks back there. There's some quarries hanging out. <laughs> the discus, I think they're ready to eat. This guy's trying to say hi. We have one of the discus and quarries in there. This guy's really tiny, trying to get him food. And then 
Yeah, like I just think it looks so much better and I really need to stay on top of doing this because the fish seem to enjoy it much, much better. There's more swimming room, there's more areas to like, you know, the aggression is spread out a lot more so they just look and feel better where nobody's getting picked on. None of the pairs can get like too aggressive. Look at all them. Oh, here they come to feed. So if you don't know, this is my 90 gallon discus tank, like I said in the beginning, and I have several cardinal tetras, several types of discus. I also have some quarries in there, two different kinds. This is a stir by quarry, and then I have pan, no, these are Malini quarries over here. And then I also have clown loaches, but they tend to hide most of the time and live in this log over there and only come out at night or when it's about to be nighttime. This is my most expensive tank at about probably more than $2,000. Like I just rough estimated the cost of the fish, the filter, the tank stand, you know, all those things. And the reason it is is because discus tend to be very high priced fish, tend to require a lot of care and require more expensive, you know, filters and things to make sure the water's quality is up to par and heating as well. Heating is probably, you know, one of those bigger things, but they look amazing and as well as food. It can be quite costly for the So let's go ahead and start feeding them because they're ready. I moved the feeding hole. I also moved the lights a bit. So hopefully the food before was like getting blown all the way in there too much. So hopefully it'll be better over here. And then they're just excited and ready. Oh, I did not mean to scare you guys put two scoops in and then they just like pick on it and there's not a lot of snails in here thankfully so I think the clown lishes have been eating the snails but we're just gonna take a step back let the discus get all comfortable and then there they go the pellets do get bigger so they look really tiny and all the fish eat these pellets which is awesome but look at all these discus like they look so beautiful like the light on them just makes them look ten times better before they were just getting shaded out and you couldn't really see all the colors, but what a shot. Like, look at them. We'll see if any of the ones that hide back there will come out. There are a couple that are like subdominant and will eat after or if they go into the plant. But the Cardinal Tetras are going, the big ones are eating. This is one of my dominant ones. And then the pears. This little guy's eating over here. The quarries are coming out. These quarries are much more adventurous, the little stir than my Malinis, but they're coming to eat. But you can see the tank, you can see me in the reflection. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch this video right here because I know you'll love it. Tons of more videos coming out. Have a great and beautiful day. You're doing awesome. Remember that. See you in the next one. See ya.